There's been a lot of chat about the ransomware epidemic of late, particularly in the media over the last two or three days. What exactly is ransomware? Now, we've been dealing with it in Back from the Future for nearly five years now certainly three and a half in terms in the form that we currently see. Ransomware is effectively a virus that gets onto your computer usually by hacking you, so convincing you to install it by saying, here, email, you've got a delivery coming in today, click here to see the invoice, and of course it plays on your curiosity, or you have a problem. Ironically, there's a problem on your computer, we need to install an update. There's been fake Java updates doing it. Most of them, I would say, so far, we've seen come through email downloaders or POP3 clients. So like Outlook, uh, MacMail, programs that you use to download and see your email on your computer without an internet connection, or at least to, to, to view them without an internet connection. Less so through browser email, so like Gmail or Outlook.com, where you're just browsing your email through your Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, Firefox browser. Now, um, once it's convinced you to install it, typically circumventing your antivirus in a lot of cases, it encrypts all your information or in some cases locks down the computer. Then that password obviously you don't have, so it, 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 it asks for a password, you don't have it, and it provides you with a message saying, look, if you want this password, you need to contact us, pay us money, etc. That money has varied in our experience between as little as 50 euro and as much as 10,000 euro. So far, we haven't seen too many specifically targeted variations. We've dealt with home users, clinics, hospitals, schools, big companies, small companies, and typically it's going in randomly. It's propagating from other people's computers, from USB keys, as I say, from certain surreptitious emails and the likes, and it ends up on certain people's computer. What do you do if you get it? Well, for starters, it, it, contacting you know your head of IT or contacting an expert like ourselves or there's lots of them around the country for advice because they will be dealing with this type of thing all day every day and they will have their own methodologies we've been about 80% successful so far in terms of the versions that are out there at decrypting the information and getting the computer back to the way it was and protecting it into the future uh, that's that brings me to my next point about prevention is obviously better than cure using something like the commercial version of panda endpoint protection you can't download that you must get it through a partner like ourselves it's around about between uh, 50 and 80 euro depending on, on what else is being done uh, about 50 euro a year um, and uh, it's, it's actually cloud-based antivirus with endpoint protection so it's actually monitoring everything even what you do and protecting you from being targeted and being hacked yourself um, also backing up obviously uh, I would say cloud backup solutions G, uh, Google Drive Dropbox however uh, we have seen cases where the virus uh, the ransomware has attacked the data which is then backed up in the cloud so uh, back to the point that really a an occasional or a routine backup as at that time uh, you can't beat it so an external hard drive a, a flash drive and um, a day a week or um, you know once a day or once a month what, whatever your routine is and however much data you use and, and, and how often you, you use your equipment um, t timely backing up your vital information on a routine basis and knowing that you're doing that and knowing you're doing it correctly you can't beat that because obviously if you have a backup of your data not connected to the computer they can't really hold anything to ransom um, obviously having antivirus using the likes of Gmail definitely we've seen a 90% less likely of getting ransomware by using the likes of Gmail uh, you can keep your existing email address and have Gmail pull in your details uh, my own personal advice is avoid Outlook if possible some people go oh I love Outlook I love the interface um, I would try to get used to the Gmail interface or the Outlook.com interface or Hotmail whatever just as long as it's 
professional, premium, well recognized, and within the browser. So you're browsing your email rather than downloading it. Getting your equipment, your computer serviced on a, a fairly regular basis, once a year typically for home users, quite a bit more for businesses, keeps your equipment safe online, keeps it running well, uh, and keeps it functional and up to date and quick and effective as well. So getting your equipment serviced is a good idea. Uh, well, all that remains to be said is look, for our customers, uh, stay safe, uh, be safe, and anything you need, give us a shout, uh, and as always, we look after you.